Hello, we're very happy to be back with you for this video. This, today we're going to be talking about the Bible, the Word of God. Now in the book of Hebrews, in chapter 1, we have this wonderful introduction. Follow along with me. Hebrews 1, verses 1 and 2. God, after he spoke long ago to the fathers and the prophets in many portions and in many ways, in these last days has spoken to us in his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, through whom also he made the world. You see, this tells us that God speaks to his children. In the Old Testament, he spoke to the prophets in many different ways. He spoke to Moses through the burning bush. He spoke to other prophets through dreams. He even spoke to one prophet through the voice of a donkey. But in these last days, the Christian age, we're told that God speaks to us through his Son. Let's have a look and see how God has spoken to us through Jesus Christ. In John chapter 16, we read of when Jesus is speaking to his disciples on the night that he was betrayed, the very night before he was killed. Notice what we read there in verses 12 and 13. I have many more things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. But when he, the spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of his own initiative, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will disclose to you what is to come. You see, the apostles weren't able to take in everything all at once, so Jesus was going to be sending them a helper, the Spirit of Truth, the Holy Spirit, and he would guide them into all truth. Now, this is an important thing. The apostles were given all truth, and we're going to refer back to that in just a minute. But how did the apostles get this truth? The apostle Paul tells us in the book of Ephesians in the third chapter. And we read there starting in verse 1. For this reason I, Paul, the prisoner of Christ Jesus, for the sake of you Gentiles, if indeed you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace which was given to me for you, that by revelation there was made known to me the mystery as I wrote before in brief, by referring to this, when you read, you can understand my insight into the mysteries of Christ, by, uh, which was, in other generations was not made known to the sons of men, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets in the Spirit. You see, Paul says that it was by revelation that he received this, this mystery. The Holy Spirit revealed this mystery, this truth, to him. But he didn't just keep it, keep it to himself. No, he wrote it down. And we have that now here in the pages of the New Testament. And now we see our responsibility. It tells us that we have to read. We have to read God's Word. If we want God to speak to us, we have to read what he says. But we're also given this promise. If we read, we then can understand the mysteries of God. You see, the, the Bible wasn't given to us as a book of mysteries, as a book of, of secret codes. No, we just have to read it to understand what God says to us. Now, we want to finish off with one passage. It's found in 2 Timothy chapter 3, and we're going to be reading verses 16 and 17. Notice, all scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. Now, when we read, all scripture is inspired by God, literally this is, all scripture is God-breathed. It comes from the mouth of God. And it, it equips us for teaching, reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. That's what it's for. It will teach us. It'll help us. It'll tell us how to live our lives in a way that is pleasing to God. And notice, so that the man of God may be adequate, equipped for every good work. How could it possibly equip us for every good work? Because the apostles were given all truth, they wrote it down. When we read it, we can understand and we can obey it. 
and therefore we are prepared for every good work. We're so happy to have you with us today. We'd like to invite you, if you have any questions, why don't you put them in the comment section below and we'll get right back to you with a Bible answer. We want you to be careful, take care, and come back again. We thank you very much. Goodbye for now.